Hello everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Alien Hunter. Now, I have to keep quiet because there are art rooms going on, but I just have to say that this might be my most exciting adventure yet. You see, there are these aliens, okay? They are trapped inside these school human bodies or something. I mean, I know they might be like people that you may know because this is kind of taped for a school production, but let me warn you that this could get very, very ugly. And when I say ugly, I mean really, really ugly. I'm so close up to the camera, I can actually, okay, I'm just kidding. But anyways, keep moving. So, now is the time to capture some aliens. Are you all excited? Are you with me? If you're with me, just say yeah. Even you. Yeah. So the lovely camera person who's going to be helping us with our special edition of the Alien Hunter today is Jasmine Alexander. Say hello, Jasmine. Hi. Let's get to it. This person coming up right now, she is a chorus teacher named Miss Shuttleworth. And she may have the personality of a chorus teacher, but on the inside she has a voice that is out of this world. And when I say out of this world, I mean literally. She's coming this way. Hello. Michelle. Hi. Are you an alien? No. Are you sure? Yes. Let me ask you something. Um, what kind of uh, what kind of interests do you have as outside of the school, if you know what I mean? Um, I like to sing. Uh, no, not uh, See, galactic bowling. I'm telling you, galactic no, bowling see, is regular. the work regular. of an alien. I mean, regular. trust me. Do you bowl okay. like an alien? No, seriously. Go, I, have a, I have a question. Bye. How do you know? Seriously. This, my friends, is the library. A library full of supposed aliens. Come on in, come on in. I have to be a little quiet because there's some people working and I oh. observe. Maybe somebody working over here might be Have you seen any uh, aliens around here? Aliens? Yes, so aliens. Are you, could be. Do you, oh, yeah, you think you could be an alien? Over there, the aliens. Are you sure? Are you absolutely 103% sure? They're over there. They're, they're aliens. You should go talk Let's go. to them. Let's go. Come on, right now. Go. No, this way. This way. Come on. Let's go. Hello. Are you an alien? Last time I checked, no. Are you an alien? I don't think so. Oh, come on. One of you guys has to be an alien. How would I mean, we know? <laughs> how would we know? Look, we could argue like, well, no, all we day. Argue Seriously, I'm I mean, not an you are an alien. alien. Would you guys you are, just I'm shut up? You're driving Seriously, me nuts. But I'm not an alien. You are, I have first an 18 people. You are now not never, an alien. You are stop. Red. I, stop I it. Ball stop ball. talking. Okay. Ball. Work of an alien. Work of an alien. My sister might be an alien because she's <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not an alien. I don't you are, think our volleyball you are team, an alien. The whole volleyball team is an alien? You are making this library very loud. I didn't mean to. Uh, work with me, Lynn. Just you know I'm out of here because <laughs> you're, obviously you're, you just accuse thing. me of being an alien, and you're just gonna leave. Because I honestly think you're getting <laughs> a little too. Can I have an apology? She's yes. too annoying to be an alien. Let's just leave. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Thank on. you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so those uh, first <laughs> two people didn't count. So uh, we're gonna be going in here to see if anybody in here is an alien, and I'm sure that they're working with technology. So I assume that they're somewhat Greek. Okay, not that person, because he's wearing a checkered shirt. Not that blue shirt person. I don't know if- I'm an alien! No, you're not, sit down. Uh, this person, I think, is kind of bored out of his mind, so I guess he's a human being. I don't know but Oh! Hello. Hello. Are you an alien? Nope. No, what's that with your to writing with? Huh? A pen? A pen. A pen. Now, are you sure it's a pen? Because I think it's made out of human blood. Because I see I the red on it. And no. why are you sitting on books? Is that the work of a human being or an alien? I am assured. I'm short? One, I'm, you're short. Like, see? Short people. That is the work of an alien. I'm saying. Like, that per a person could not be that tall to be an alien. I mean, <laughs> I mean, maybe an avatar. But, seriously, look. Let's look at what you're sitting on. Biology and geometry. I you See, regular human beings do not sit on books that are biology and geometry. Fact. I hate that. You hate... And that doesn't help. Let's just move on. Hello folks, day two of the Alien Hunter. Guess what, I got a haircut. <laughs> so anyways, uh, so my interview so far with uh, these supposed aliens have not been uh, really spectacular. I mean, I tried to interview this guy in a wheelchair and, um, well, I thought he was an alien, but then he was kind of offended, so we kind of, uh, Rolled away. <laughs> so uh, now we're trying to interview more people, and uh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but 
So, the next person we're going to interview today Oh, is... wait, Patrick. What is it? Low battery. Are you serious? How's the camera doing? Uh, charging. Charging? Yeah. So, so, this whole thing has been stupid. But don't tell me Patrick the alien hunter is giving- I fast so many people. You fast five. Touche. Look, why don't you want to be a vampire- Alien. Alien hunter in the first place. Well, I mean- I love science fiction. I mean, how can anybody deny that? I mean, aliens are pretty much my life, and whenever I see people wearing blue shirts or red pimples or something like that, I can't think that, you know, that person is a alien. Patrick, you can't give up right now. You've come so far, you'd be stupid not to finish this. I'm... Look, if you believe something, then I think it's going to take a little bit more than interviewing to prove to people that you believe. Stupid to just give up. Who are you? What are you doing? No! No! My legs! My legs! Oh, God in heaven, my... Where am I? I wouldn't do that if I were you. There. Uh, why are your eyes like that? Okay. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I just uh, do that whenever I see a terrifying looking life form. Uh, who are you? Why am I here in a ticket booth? And where's Jasmine? Oh, I took care of her. What do you mean? Get away from me! Don't come any closer! Oh, shut up. How? Oh, did you just slap me? Ah, you can't just slap me. I mean, okay. what are you gonna do now? You're just gonna slap me again? Go. I have had enough of this. I did not cross a billion galaxies to be what you call backsassed. Well, what do you want from me? Money? My Toy Story collection? To infinity and beyond? No! Wait, you have a Toy Story collection? Yep. We'll have to talk about that later. But as far as you and me go, you're the one about to be interviewed. Wait, that's a stupid idea. Oh, God, this thing is killing... This isn't connected in any way, is it? Nope. This wasn't very well thought through. Not particularly. It? Go ahead and run, you little butterfly. I will catch you. It is insane. I gotta get out of here and maybe my jacket What's going on? No, no, no! <laughs> no, no! Lights! Wait, why aren't they turning on? Oh, there we go. How did you get here so fast, and why are you in a grandma's armchair? First off, armchair. Hmm. Secondly, magic. 
What did you do with Jasmine? Oh, I killed her. Brutally, too. Long story of just gruesomeness. I'll tell you later. Oh, and by the way, you're an alien. Well, what did you do with Jasmine? I'm an alien. Yes, that's all, what I just said. All this time, uh -huh. I've been interviewing people, and uh -huh. I'm an alien. Well, you were born on the planet of Mordak 3, where you're a prosperous young child. I mean, you did all the things you regular child did. You sang, you played, you murdered the parakeet. You know, all the normal things. And then, one day, our chief scientist realized that something was fairly wrong with our planet. Massive polar shifts have been destroying the inside of the planet, causing the planet to, well, collapse in upon itself. Getting any of this? No. No! Alright. So anyways, as I was saying, our planet was imploding. Or it was going to implode. So our chief scientist made a rocket for only two people to launch them off into another world and try to restart the race. Why they put two guys on it, I will never know. I, I don't know. They... They were government scientists, I don't know what they were doing. Anyways, so we actually crash-landed on Earth, and I've been trying to, well, tell you an alien all this time, and trying to get you back to Mordak 3. Unfortunately, that plan was foiled when Mordak 3 imploded. So, let's just take over the F and Earth. What? No! Alright, you're improvising too much, I'm just leaving. Stay. You will work for me forever. We shall go to I-95 and build a subway on the site. And when people come, we won't give them what they ask for. When they ask for pickles, we shall give them mayonnaise. No one will be able to stop us. <laughs> no! <laughs>